George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant shep, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. Desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. <laughs> How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can can we do a flashback or something? <laughs> Sweet, thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating make George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra. Patrick, good friend. <laughs> Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ooh. Ah, forgive them. Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post-snack snack snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack snack, post-lunch, the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas! Hmm. I call it the Thought Doer. Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. <laughs> what happened? 
happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> what have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. It begins. All bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. There's only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Must fix Ape and save Jungle! But there's only two bananas left! Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Oh, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay. Is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium! Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes! And apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighting anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work. You terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground! <laughs> and so, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this will never work unless we set the mood much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't eat, um, doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more nanas. You two want to play hardball? <laughs> we can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold off eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh. oh wait. Uh, uh, uh. 
Hold on, I've got this. <laughs> right, lesson learned. What? Ape's not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George stay here and... Lick this slug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is, nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature! That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river! That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, ape. George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! They make George dizzy. I oh, think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. House stop water. Mystery solved. New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates, responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender. Beavers are nothing if not inventive. And that's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now! Oh! Uh! Me, George, king of jungle! You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work! Name's three tooth. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge! Oh. It's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in the jungle neither. George, human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was... a uh, George. Kinda like Abe Slav's lemur banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. And George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. 
ape know George Human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. <laughs> After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human. And that your diaper smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big, sad, crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop! Stop, stop it! I'll put you in the circus. Leave me alone. Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, ape? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it. I'm not. Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, cause I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh, and we humans are never wrong. Ah, I'm wrong! I'm so wrong! Help me, George! Ah! Thanks for that. You throw a good crocodile. The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Pressure! Buggy buggy boo! Buggy buggy boo! Be gone, shark that's blue! I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. Ahem. Mmm, mmm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Witch Doctor! Look out! <laughs> shark monkey fit? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, you. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just weird monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> Wait! George not learning up yet! <sighs> You did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look, I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! Ah! There's only one more human who might be able to help. Ah! Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help! George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. Hey. Being human means being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Babe, wake up, babe. Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> this is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George know himself now! Beavers in big human trouble! Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George use human thinky brain! <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub. Huh? Okay, 
St. George, use human tricky trick! Look! Big monster behind you! Mm, nah. Fine. St. George, use human scary face! Use your what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle! And you are one terrible human! Beaver, right. George, no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George, bad human. You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George, and this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chew down trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah, those logs. Buddy, logs are trees. Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time. Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles. How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one. The tallest tree of all, tree known to ages as Tim. <laughs> What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. Oh. 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 And that's why George King can belong in jungle. And George finally realized that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talkie Sky Boy's right. George lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear-cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three teeth! You can be George Enemy. You can be whatever you want. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle. Select us free. Watch out for that tree. When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't they date, then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend, are you and me? Life in the jungle is a battle between life and death, survival and extinction. And between George and Ursula. Ah, that better. Monkeys, get along, okay? No! Monkeys, fight! Now! <laughs> George won't be good king and help jungle, but Ursula no let George. You must understand, George. Ursula believes that Mother Nature's way is the only way. Anything that interferes with nature is wrong. Would you put some sunscreen on my back? No! Um, no way, that natural. Good work, George. Ah! Ursula set river free! No, Ursula, wait! Ursula destroyed him! And Ursula destroyed baby Sloth Valley! Ah! George, time.
tired of you making George's job big joke. <laughs> George's job is joke. Not funny. George challenged Ursula to sacred jungle battle. George, think about this. You've met Ursula, right? George, no. First one who look away, lose. No, George. That's a staring contest. Paper beats rock? That's rock, paper, scissors. Ursula counts to ten. George go hide behind tree. Hide and go seek. George hit Ursula and run away. Tag. George tells Ursula, go fish. That's go fish, George. Three X's in row. Tic-tac-toe. Wait, George got it. Patty cake. Okay, how about George clap, then Ursula... And so is that. It sure... Ah! Now we fight! What? Wait! May I suggest... Oh, a jungle vote! Oh, instead... Oh, jungle vote! Oh, jungle vote! The Sacred Jungle Vote. Where important decisions are made by the will of the jungle. Time to count the votes. You're not allowed to vote for yourself, Ursula. The will of the jungle has spoken. George wins. Now, Ursula? Ah, Ursula know when she not wanted. Wow, Ursula know how to make exit. This can only mean one thing. She's gone to the dark heart of the jungle forever. It also means George free to help animals. want much help today. George think baby animals want too much help. Yes, yes, without Ursula around, life in the jungle has certainly lost its edge. Can I ask you for a mani-pedi, or would that be weird? Ooh, yeah. Awkward. But George and Ape aren't the only ones who notice the jungle going from wild to mild. Huh, good catch, Tiger. Did you use your sleeper hold? Of course I did. Except I didn't, because this lazy rug was just lying there. Where's your fight gone, pussycat? Come on, bite me so I can show you what kind of a man I am. Savage me! Ah, this jungle's gone soft. Soft like that expensive toilet paper you insist on using. What's the use of hunting if you don't spend every moment staring savage death in its fiery eye? Oh, yes, I would agree completely, but people would pay big bucks to get this close to a lion. Hmm. Cash money, you mean? I do like its feel, its crinkly musk, the way it tucks into a waistband. Step right up and enter the world's first completely safe cageless zoo, where even Namby Pambies can take a pillow soft trip into the cushy heart of the jungle. Jungle get weak and lazy. Boulder Dash, we're as ferocious as ever. Maybe you have a point. George must show Jungle tough love. George make Jungle strong again. And when me say George, me mean Ursula. The journey to the dark heart of the jungle is perilous indeed. George must overcome many dangers to find Ursula. The River of Bats, the Banana Peel Road, the Itchy Nostril Caves. Yep, this look like place. Uh, <laughs> George, 
travel much distance to see Ursula. <laughs> Ursula right. George helped too much. Animals go weak. Must make animals wild again. <laughs> George, need Ursula help! <laughs> oh. Jungle animals need Ursula help? <laughs> if Ursula come back, she get to beat up George every day. Fun, right? <laughs> Wait, George realized jungle need George and Ursula. And George, sorry. <laughs> Ursula whip jungle into shape. Oh, I just had the worst dream. Oh, I dreamt I had my final math exam, but I wasn't wearing any. You soft. All right, you soft talent, dull toothed. Devenomed weaklings, those fleshy pink things are people. And they taste amazing. People were put in this jungle to be eaten by you and you. Yes, and even you. Tonight, Ursula will teach you to be wild. Tonight, jungle get hair back on chest and on arms, on legs and everywhere else for that matter. Go team Mother Nature. <laughs> No use ketchup! No! Like this! <laughs> George messed Jungle up! George just won help! One chance left! Call of Wild! If anything could remind the animals that they were, well, animals, it was Ursula's Call of the Wild. Jungle Wild. But next time, maybe Ursula open with Howl, so we avoid montage. Now, George rescue tourists. Okay, tourists learn to rescue selves without George. It's beyond savage. Hold on, Ape. George, help! Helping Ape not count. <laughs> the Jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong, survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. <laughs> Ape, no worry. George, have idea to keep zebra safe? There, see? 
George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape right. Now, all animals safe. George, you really think that... George no a proud of George. <laughs> this is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial light? That you drone wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? No, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating. I need a present. Stat! Just think, Chicago. Think or oh, you're dead! <laughs> Perfume? <laughs> Flowers? <laughs> oh, wait! Those are perfect! Two metric tons of flowers and a few hundred uh, thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year! Just add in same-day shipping and... How much? I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni. You don't understand. My mother is, let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I gonna get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it. No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, Doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing. Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, ape? George's busy. George? George! No need, yell. George right here. What? How? Why? <laughs> if you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too. George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! From a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey, put George down! George not toy or joke! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing huh? Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey, George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please, we need your help to stop Dr. Chicago. Now, George, this time we can just... Hey, Doctor, now really no do bad stuff. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. No, George! I mean, really, <laughs> does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! Japan? <laughs> you show us now? Ha! If I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... 
Look, just get to the shipping. We'll never help you. Airmail the crown freight. これ。ミ、ジョージ、ミハフトゲットバックトジャングル。ニューガスル。ヘイ、ダブックライクこれやっぱダメだ。偽物だ。オッケー、ジョージ。ナウユハフタイムトメイクビッグティンスアンストップド
George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff give George big headache. George not want break brain. George? He stalks the jungle, totally weirding out its inhabitants. He's terrified, yet also strangely hilarious. What manner of horrific beach ball-like creature could this be? It's George, everybody's favorite jungle king. He's just come down with a bad case of acute puffitis. Didn't even know it was real until now. But hey, that's life in crazy town. <laughs> but how did George catch such a rare and ungainly disease? Was it a bite from that vampire upper fish? Did he catch it from that overly affectionate puffin? Or maybe that hostile tribe of puffy pillows? You got me, but I'll run some tests. Until then, stay away from anything, Charlie. And do not go to the beach. Come, George. Let's get you home to rest. No, ape! A coop poop -eritis. no stop king of jungle! Who? George, prove he'd still be good king! Oh, George need breeze! Little did George suspect, but he was being watched by the all-knowing and stylish Council of Apes! The king is far too round to protect the jungle! We must take action! Time to summon the Steve! Yes, the Steve! I'm his target! Can we go back to talking? No, we use telepathy because your breath smells like zebra cheese! That was me! Can't we just summon the Steve already? You wreck your own planet, Space Rocks! This moment would never come. Steve, the jungle needs you. You are our only hope. I know. You need to rest, George. Yes, we have summoned the Steve to take over your duties while you heal. The Steve? The Steve? Wait. Huh? Who's Steve? And what you mean take over? Oh. Yes, space diving is awesome. I would normally introduce myself, but... Oh, can I? This handsome devil is Steve. A jungle orphan like George, Steve was raised by apes but left the jungle when he was still young. Steve became the most successful person ever. Three countries, two continents, and the moon were named after him. Don't you mean the Steve? It's time to put the team back together, Ape. Ape and Steve know each other? Ape and I go way back. We're best friends and even better partners. I wouldn't put it quite like that. Don't you worry, George. Just think of me as a better version of you. Come on, ape, there's a jungle to rumble. Steve, I really do. <laughs> no, George King, George Fine. George, show everyone. Uh. Oh, turkey, turkey. Glorious! <laughs> Just like I remember. You're not upset about. <laughs> Ape, please, do I look like someone with a burning desire for revenge? My only burning desire is to protect this jungle. But first, time to take this place to the cliff. Steve, stop! You'll flood the entire jungle! Ah! Much better. Oh. That the old girl could use a little sparkle.
happened? It was Steve. He destroyed everything. We have to stop. And replaced it with this. <laughs> now I can charge triple. Just showing my appreciation for the fine work you do, Doc. <laughs> Serves me right for standing too close. Is it possible? Have I misjudged Steve? Hmm. Where did everybody go? Hello? 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 Steve, what's he done to... Steve! Huh? water park in just for the day. Can you believe it? Ursula, split fast! Steve Good King! Tell George that Steve Bad King! Tell George that animals want George back! I can't believe I'm saying this, but Steve's doing a fine job. <laughs> the bad noise! Oh, yes. Steve very good. Maybe he should be king. That's just it. He was supposed to be. Years ago, I trained Steve in the ways of the jungle. He was smart. He was brave. He was strong. But he was also a jerk. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> I thought it was my fault that I had failed Steve as his mentor. Until we discovered he'd been born with an angry weasel for a heart. I didn't know what to do. But then came the great orphan storm of 99. That's when I found George. And I knew he'd be a good king. Plus, the council always had a weakness for the newest fads, like taco manicures or zebra shoes. And you couldn't get any newer than George. <laughs> Steve was forgotten. Until now. But it appears he's not the weasel-hearted man I thought he was. George, Ape's second choice? George, I brought you to the council because I believe there's more to a jungle king than being a fantastic, beloved, effective, handsome, natural leader. That does sound quite weak when I say it out loud. No, no! George proved that he good king and first choice! George saved baby lion! Gotcha! Oh no! Save your applause! I only did what any other amazing jungle king would do. Now you can applaud! Steve, best king ever. George, go. Anyone here, George? Please, you're making me blush. George, leave now. Forever. George? George! George! I found out why George got sick. Someone hit him with his blowgun dart, and it's poisoned with pufferfish puffin pillow venom. Oh, come on. Like, we're supposed to remember you finding that thing? It was like ten years ago, and I wasn't even there. Hmm. <gasps> Steve! Hold on. Steve hit George with that? From space? He was always good with a blowgun. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> so, you finally figured it out. Ape was right. I totally want revenge. I mean, duh. Of course you'll all suffer for tossing me aside. What did you do with George? Besides utterly destroy his self-worth and make him leave in disgrace? What did you expect from a man with a weasel for a heart? You think I'm good with a blowgun? I'm even better at networking. Get it? <laughs> this good net! Your treachery will never succeed! I know your secret. Without your bananas, you are nothing. Nothing! Steve, this was your home. Think about what you're doing! Oh, I have. For years. 
Do you think this kind of revenge happens by accident? Now, who's going in first? Ah! Oh my. <laughs> Pandora! George! Let George's friends go! You think you're a match for the steam? I'm worth trillions! I have my own spaceship! I've even walked on the surface of the steam! <laughs> Deep better spaceman, better looking, maybe even better king, but George better crushy ball! George! No, no! Wait! Anybody bring Grace? What was Steve's fate? He fell in lava. Or maybe not. George not pay attention. That's dramatically convenient. George, even though you thought you were worthless, you returned and saved your friends. Actually, George come back after George saw scary men in the jungle. <laughs> Welcome back, King of the Jungle. <laughs> I guess hugs will just have to wait till you're better. <laughs> Waiting for sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Friends, where would we be without them? Always there in times of need, never judging, forever supportive. Blah, blah, blah. But most importantly of all, true friends would never, ever tell each other the cold, hard truth. Say something to him. George no want to hurt ape feelings. Magnolia, tell ape. No way. Ursula? Ursula, <laughs> him. Then we all run away. No, George like ape. Only hate ape cooking. I hope you all brought your appetites. I've been toiling in the kitchen all day to make everyone's favorite dish, my jungle jelly surprise. From these hands to your stomach and then to all of our hearts. Can George have hot sauce? Hmm, I suppose. One moment. <laughs> oh, good idea. Magnolia's smart. Oh, please. You got Ape out of the room with that hot sauce idea. Come on. George just wants sauce to burn tongue, so George no taste jelly. It's like stink badger. Eat skunk, then bleh on plate. One bottle of hot sauce. Mm. Oh, so good, we not wait for sauce. Wish there was more. Oh dear, I'm afraid I didn't have the foresight to prepare seconds. <laughs> oh, say it isn't so. No need to cry, my friends. I'll simply get started on my biggest batch ever. Why, we always go overboard. <laughs> It's heartwarming what true friends will do for one another, isn't it? Meanwhile, out among the stars, a lone extraterrestrial is in dire need of a friend. But this isn't any run-of-the-mill extraterrestrial. Poor Carl. He thinks he's found a remote outpost of his own kind. Yes, his name is Carl. Narrators know things like this. He's a Jalician from the Gelati Quadrant. And this is what's known as a Jalician mind mode, by which he can share his thoughts and knowledge. Magnolia? Hmm. 
This looks like one of my... <laughs> 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 And so, George and his friends were press jellied into building a huge, uh, something for the now intelligent and ornery desserts. When Ape call it Jungle Jelly Surprise, he no kidding. <laughs> be alive. I mean, what's in that recipe? The more puzzling question is, where did they all come from? Ape make them all. <gasps> but you ate all my jellies, remember? Oh, that is tough one. We can worry about wherever they came from after we're free. The solution to our plight is simple, my friends. We shall band together and eat our jelly overlords. <laughs> There has got to be another way! No worry! George set jungle free! Before <laughs> Ape learned truth! <laughs> Hold on! I know I've got something in here about fighting aliens! Ah, got it! Just make jellies more angry! And make more jellies! Only one thing we can do! You mean? Yes. Eat. Why do you keep doing that whenever somebody mentions eating jellies? Luckily, before anyone has to tell Ape the terrible truth, something even more terrible happens. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> had us building a gigantic vegetable steamer. These uh, asparagus wouldn't have stood a chance against it. Oh, too bad we smashed it. Green Master of the Green Menace, let us fight for the one who gave us the spark of life! Fort Carol! Oh. Maybe Carl come in spaceship that crashed couple nights ago. You saw a UFO crash land in the jungle and you didn't tell anybody? George afraid you say he crazy. We never say. No, George right. He say he see flying saucer meet uh, him with club. Please, please, please have answers. Oh. I was kind of hoping for some alien super weapons. I record this sad tale as a warning to others. For millennia, my kind lived in peace and prosperity. But we didn't have the heart to tell our cooks that we hated their specialty, asparagus surprise. Instead of eating it, we hid it. As the eons passed, the asparagus evolved. Like so many leftovers that had never been refrigerated, they turned evil. 
and their disgusting texture, better taste, and startling effect on urine across the galaxy. As the last of my kind, I ask all beings to forgive us for creating such monsters. What? But if Kong was the last of his kind, where did all those extra jellies come from? Oh, jellies not extra. They yours. We, we all hate, hate jungle, jungle jelly jelly surprise. surprise. Why didn't you say so? Do you have any idea how much I hate making jungle jelly surprise? <laughs> the main ingredient is wildebeest hooves, and providing them with running shoes in exchange is driving me bankrupt. I only made jungle jelly surprise because you all said you loved it. And, well, because... Oh, because you love us! We all hug his group now! We sorry. We no tell truth because we no want hurt ape feelings. Wow! If only we told each other the truth, none of this would have happened. <gasps> That's what real friends do. We lie to one another. Arr! Enough hug! Break up or me start clubbing! So, we're all good then? Except for aliens invading jungle. Should really get on that. Right. And their only weakness is their edible. Yeah. George will need a lot of hot sauce. Eat another bite. Oh. oh, alien aftertaste worse. Oh, oh, he's right. Blech. Those guys were disgusting. Almost as disgusting as apes. Right? Sorry. We are Sundacons from Sector Sprinkle here to enslave you. Maybe George have room for dessert. Oh. Oh. 